Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome back to the channel. Can I just say, I am like super excited to be filming today. There's not like a particular reason why. I'm just, I don't know, I just feel really, really excited. Like this is just, oh, this is just my happy place and just, I still feel like I'm living in my little dream bubble because like I, I never thought I would actually give this a go and I'm so excited that I did and I'm so happy that I did so thank you for all the love and support that you give me and if you're watching and you've watched my other videos or you follow me on other social media thank you so much for your support I mean it from the bottom of my heart thank you so much so today I don't have a particular set plan I haven't really thought exactly what I'm going to do because I'm going to be using some eyeshadow palettes that Rimmel sent me, which is so exciting. I've swatched a few of them, and honestly, the pigment is just amazing, absolutely beautiful. So before I show you those palettes, I'm going to just get my face prepped, and yeah, and then we'll get into it. So if you'd like to continue watching and see what I end up doing with this face, <laughs> you keep watching. And if you do enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to keep up to date with my videos and see what I'm up to, please hit the subscribe button down below. It would mean the absolute world to me. And yeah, let's get into it. So before I show you the shadow palette, I'm just going to put this on my face to let it soak into my skin while we're talking. This is the Rimmel London Insta Flawless Perfecting Radiant Skin Tint. So it does have an SPF in as well, which is actually really nice. Um, it's a natural looking glow, 24 hour moisturization, prime leaf effects, and I put it in the shade light to medium. Now I've used this, I only bought this, was it this week I bought it? Yeah, this week, and I've used it about three times. I've worn it, um, today actually when we went out for a walk, I just, I had it on my skin this morning, so my skin does still feel really hydrated. I'm going to just put a little bit more on though. Um, and then twice for work this week, I actually wore it under my, ooh, I wore it under my foundation and it did, my skin felt really hydrated and just had a nice natural glow to it. So I, so far, I'm absolutely loving this. It's been really good and it smells exactly like the spray, the um, Seven Go spray, which I absolutely love. It just smells like summer, which I love. But I like this and it's not, because some tinted moisturizers, they can make your face, I don't know, it could, I don't know if it's just my skin or if you guys have felt it as well. Um, but they almost, once they've warmed up a little bit, not so much, I don't think they oxidise because it's not like it's a foundation, but some of them I'll put on and it, and it looks nice, and then I'll look in the mirror 20 minutes later and my face looks quite red, like it goes sort of, not red like a reaction, but red like it's almost like it has oxidised and sort of goes a bit red, whereas this one, it just sinks into your skin and just gives a really nice glow and the tint isn't too intense, which I really like, so I highly recommend this. And I still, because I absolutely love it and it feels great on my skin and I just swear by it, I'm still going to spray this on as well. I love this so, so much. <laughs> I think everyone that I've, like, since I got it from Rimmel, I've told everyone about it. Everyone I've told about has bought it and are all obsessed with it as well. So, Rimmel, this is amazing. <laughs> Three different palettes I got sent from Rimmel. They're so gorgeous, like I can't actually decide what sort of look I want to do today because they're just, you could just do a million different looks with the different products. So this one is called the Nude Edition. So, let's take a little brush out. I mean, the shades are just so beautiful. Um, what's, let's swatch one of these shimmer. Like the pigmentation is just amazing. So this one is the Nude Edition. This one is the Smoke Edition. So this one's all your beautiful sort of greys, blues, purple shades. Which is absolutely stunning. I have to swatch this glitter one. Oh, that is so pretty. I hope that picks up. That is so beautiful. Like, the shades are just absolutely stunning. And the last one, this one is the Color Edition. And this one too, I've actually used this a couple of times already because it is just, this is the one that I've played with first. I'm gonna use my other hand to swatch. Like, let's 
do that one, that one. I, it is just, I, oh, I don't even have words. I keep just saying, it's just, it is just, it is just. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> That's why I'm in a little bit of a pickle because I'm like, do I do something bright and summery? Do I do a nude look? Do I do a, a swing? Like this, look at this one. This one's got like blue sparkle in it. It's like black undertone with blue sparkle. Like what's the deal to do? What, what do I do? I don't even know where to start. <gasps> I think, should I start? I think I might start with my eyes just in case we do go a little bit extreme which potentially could happen so i'm going to just start with the wet n wild come correct celebrity concealer i'm just going to put a little bit onto my eyes and then i'm just going to use the insta fits and matte just to set that down I'm going to go in with the nude palette first and just use this shade just to put all over my lid just to get started and I'm going to go and do my brows off camera and I will be right back. So to start with I'm going to use this beautiful shade here and I'm actually I'm going to use that, I know it's a shimmer um, but I want to use that colour as my transition shade. So I'm just going to go in just lightly with quite a fluffy brush to start with and just pop that just above my crease and I'm going to do another layer just to deepen it up a little bit. So I'm going to go in with this deep purple here that I'm going to literally just pop right into my crease so again not being too too heavy handed just because these are actually quite pigmented like they're really pigmented so you don't need to be swirling your brush in too much you can actually just really lightly dip your brush in which is amazing I mean like the tiniest touch and you actually have a lot of product so this is just going to go in our crease and just keeping on the outer edge. So I'm going to take a little bit more of this concealer just to block out that lid. Take this beautiful gold shade. Oh, it is so beautiful. And then just to add just a little bit more sparkle, I'm going to go in with the Australis Metallics Shadow. This is in the shade Gold Gaga, so I think it'll just really bring out that gold. It's so beautiful. Just going to pop that over the top just to give it just that little bit more sparkle. And I am going to do a wing though, but I wanted to show you. This is another thing I got sent from Rimmel. So this is the Wonder, uh, Wonder Wing Eyeliner. So if you've watched any of my videos or seen any of my photos, I have used the Rimmel Glam Eyes for years. Like it is always my go-to for a wing liner. So I was very excited, like I have tried other products, like a gajillion other products, but it's, I've always gone back to the Glam Eyes. And so I said to them when they were sending this, I was like, oh, you know, we'll have to see, like Glam Eyes is always my ride or die. And I have to admit, like, I absolutely love this. Like, I still love my glam eyes. Like, I will never, never abandon my glam eyes. But this one I have actually used three times this week and love it. So, to start with, it's basically like a, it's a pen. It is so easy to put on. It is so black and pigmented. It's amazing. But the other fun thing, I'm hoping it'll pick up, on one of the sides is actually, it's flat. That will pick up. And now I haven't tried this yet. I've been just using it as a pen and doing my wing. But I'm pretty sure, I'm assuming so, I haven't actually checked. But because it's flat, that you can actually use it as a stamp. So I'm going to try that out now. 
this could be a fail but it could also be amazing <laughs> but even if you didn't use it as a set like as a pen this is amazing so and it also it's really easy to use much easier than the glam eyes so i think if you are into wings but you're not so i'll show you the glam eyes so the glam eyes is this one so it's a little pottle with a very very thin tip so if you're not as confident with wings i would say you know that one probably is a little bit harder to use this one is super 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 easy so i'm going to try the stamp like i'm guessing it's a stamp i'm pretty sure it is We'll see. <laughs> I could be making something up and giving you guys completely false information. So, hmm. oh, I hope I can get this. So if I close my eyes, where do I want to stamp it? There, it does work. So, there you go. If you're not as confident with a wing, this is perfect. Literally do the little stamps, you've, you've got your start, and then just line it all up. The foundation, I'm going to use the Designer Brands 24 Hour Foundation Full Coverage, and this is in the shade Nude Beige. And then again, just a small amount of the concealer and going back in with fix and matte I'm just going to put that all over my face just to settle that down I'm going to run the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner in black just through my tight line and then with the transition shade we use the red shade I'm gonna run that along my lower lashes then going back in with the Astralis glitter I'm gonna just bring that along my inner corner and just along this front my lower lashes and I'm going to use the Rimmel Wonderfully Real Mascara this I am also super obsessed with at the moment it makes my lashes just look amazing I already have a coat on my upper lashes from today uh, but I'm gonna put some lashes on right so I'm just gonna let the glue dry before I put another coat of mascara on and then I'm just going to dust my face with the NYX Sunkiss Radiant Finishing Powder. Now this does have a slight shimmer in, so that's alright. I kind of want that. Then I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Contour Powder. And I'm using the darker shade. Yeah. Going in with the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Collection Palette. I'm going to go in with this shade. I think it's Amaretto. Amaretto. And I am going to use Champagne Pop today. Seeing as we've got quite a bit of gold shades happening. So I'm going to highlight with that. I've actually used this for a little while. I keep grabbing my LA Girl one. But this this highlighter was definitely the start of my love affair with highlighters. Like this was my yeah start of my addiction with highlighters. Like it is just it is beautiful. Then for my lips, I'm going to use the LA Girl lip liner in the shade current for the lip liner and for the lips i'm going to use the life glam kiss me vixen go for a bit of a dark bold lip
And then just to finish off with the fix and go. That is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed seeing the new products. Honestly, I, can, I can't recommend those eyeshadow palettes more. Like they are so pigmented, so easy to blend, and they're just such an amazing variety of so many different looks you could achieve. So highly recommend those. And yeah, I really hope you like this. If you have any questions about anything that I've done with this look, please just comment down below. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have an amazing week, and I will see you again in the next video. See ya!